This is the rice that sustained the economies of many West African kingdoms and civilizations. Rice has always been a common staple in parts of Africa. But now, it has become the fastest growing food source across the continent and is emerging as an engine for economic growth. Africa consumes more rice than it produces. In 2012 alone, the continent imported 12 million tons of rice, valued at 5 billion US dollars. However, there are signs that this may soon change. Sub-Saharan Africa has recently experienced some dramatic changes in the rice sector. Paddy production growth rate shot up from 3.2% per year before the food crisis to 8.4% between 2007 and 2012. Average rice yield in the region jumped by about 30% and is increasing at a revolutionary pace. This surge in rice production and yield is a result of key investments made by farmers, governments, the private sector, and the donor community to boost Africa's rice sector. The yield jump is encouraging evidence of increased use of knowledge and innovation generated through research in Africa, particularly by Africa Rice and its partners. By drawing on strong science and effective partnerships, Africa Rice and its partners are helping Africa's smallholder rice farmers grow more rice for food and income. Its contributions include improved seed and cropping practices, technical information, capacity development, policy advice, and support to the development of rice markets and value chains. For agricultural research, it all starts with a seed. Africa rice is located in a region where the African rice species Oriza glabarima originated. The African rice is a rich reservoir of genes that confer resistance to stresses endemic to Africa. The center conserves, uses, and shares with partners the rich diversity of the African rice gene pools. Africa Rice and its partners study the problems caused by rice diseases, insect pests, and weeds in the main rice ecosystems. They use conventional breeding, new tools such as marker-assisted selection to develop high-yielding rice varieties, with built-in resistance to these stresses. Through the participatory varietal selection approach, farmers can choose from many improved rice varieties, notably Arikas, Narikas, Sahels, Wubs, and Vitas, as well as aromatic varieties developed by Africa Rice and its partners over the last 25 years in Africa. Narica is today a household name in Africa. The Narica family of varieties includes a total of 18 upland Narica and 60 lowland Narica varieties. Naricas are planted on more than 800,000 hectares across Africa showing positive impacts on rice productivity and farmers' livelihoods. High-yielding rice varieties for irrigated areas, called Sahel, cover more than 85% of the Senegal River Valley. A new generation of high-performing rice varieties, branded as Arika has been recently launched by Africa Rice and its partners. Africa's smallholder rice farmers grow their crop under rain-fed conditions, in which drought, flood, cold, salinity and iron toxicity reduce yields and affect their livelihoods. Collaborative work using recent advances in rice science is helping to develop varieties tolerant to these stresses. A basket of rice crop management options is offering new choices to rice farmers, to get the most value out of inputs and save land, water, and other natural resources, in addition to increasing yields. The nutrient manager developed by Africa Rice and its partners in particular, ERI, is providing rice farmers and extension workers with fertilizer guidelines via smartphones. A new interactive tool helps identify nearly 200 different wheat species of lowland rice in East and West Africa and provides practical information on how to manage them. In association with partners, Africa Rice is promoting small-scale, locally adapted machinery specifically targeting land preparation, weeding, harvesting and processing. It seeks to modernize rice farming in Africa, lessen the burden on women, and turn it into a viable agribusiness.
attractive to young people. One of the major challenges for sub-Saharan Africa is how to produce sufficient and affordable rice, which responds to the preferences of its fast-growing and increasingly urbanized population. Considerable amounts of rice produced get lost in inefficient post-harvest systems. It is important to reduce such losses and ensure a top-quality product that African consumers will want to buy. The center and its partners are finding ways to add economic, nutritional, and environmental value to rice by reducing post-harvest losses, improving grain quality of new rice varieties, and exploring eco-friendly uses of husks and straw. Africa Rice plays a key role in advising scientists and policymakers in member states on critical rice production and marketing issues. To do this effectively, Africa Rice leverages on its dual status as intergovernmental association of 25 African member countries and as an international center of the CGIAR consortium combining African ownership and international support. In 2007, the center alerted the Council of Ministers about the looming rice crisis and recommended strategies to manage the crisis. Some of these measures have been adopted by the countries with very positive results. Africa rice economists are providing technical support to help African countries develop and implement national rice strategies under the Coalition for African Rice Development Initiative. The center is strengthening collaboration with national programs, regional organizations, farmers associations, and others for policy communication and outreach. Africa Rice Economists conduct studies to have a better understanding of the problems faced by rice farmers and others involved in rice production and help set research priorities accordingly. They also study the impact of technologies on farmers' livelihoods. In sub-Saharan Africa, rice is primarily a women's crop in the rain-fed upland and lowland ecologies. Africa rice addresses gender gaps in access to technologies, knowledge, specific technology needs of women, and their potential roles as contributors and beneficiaries of technologies in the rice value chains. It is helping develop the next generation of rice researchers and technicians and strengthening the capacity of national partners. The center is using farmer learning videos, manuals, and training programs to share rice technologies and knowledge with farmers to help improve rice production. Africa Rice scientists are based at the center's temporary headquarters in Benin and its outreach stations in Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Senegal, and Tanzania. Research staff are also based in Liberia and Sierra Leone. In close association with its national partners, the center operates through a continent-wide task force mechanism based on broad research themes. This mechanism was adopted to strengthen the research and development capacity of national systems and to pool expertise and resources. Africa Rice has launched a 10-year strategic plan that has a clear vision of success to help Africa achieve almost 90% self-sufficiency in rice by year 2020. Africa Rice is implementing its strategic plan mainly through the CGIAR research program on rice known as Global Rice Science Partnership or GRISP, led globally by URI and in Africa by Africa Rice. As part of GRISP, the center works closely with URI. See it, Jericus, Sirad, and Iardi, and many universities and partners from the public and private sectors. Africa Rice is taking an innovative approach to boosting productivity by starting with the end point, rice markets. Rice sector development hubs are being set up across Africa to concentrate R&D efforts and connect partners along the rice value chain. Africa Rice's role as a champion in partnership building has won recognition both in Africa and on the international scene. Africa Rice and its partners are happy that their work is helping farmers add value to the local rice, raise farmers' incomes, improve rice quality, and expand the market for locally produced goods. Africa is making significant strides in boosting its rice sector and Africa Rice is fully committed to assist the continent in realizing its rice promise.